So uh, this is what we call the standard form of an imaginary number, a plus bi, where this is your real part, and that's your imaginary. All right, and so one thing that uh, we talk about when we're talking about imaginary numbers, and I believe uh, the thing is, um, one thing you can say about your imaginary numbers is, if you, if you have an imaginary number equal to another imaginary number, then your reals must be equal to each other, and therefore also your imaginary must be equal to each other. And what was this other problem? So what I'm saying is if I'm saying this imaginary number is equal to this imaginary number, then my real must be equal to each other, and my imaginary must be equal to each other. So therefore, if I wanted to find the values for A and the values for B that make these two equal to each other, I can say A is equal to negative 10, and B is equal to 6. Now let's say I was given a problem such as a minus 1 plus uh, b plus 3i is equal to 5 plus 8i. Well, by following the exact same logic, I know that my real a has to be equal to this real portion of the graph and my imaginary has to be equal to my other imaginary for these two um, imaginary numbers to be equal to each other. So I can write a minus 1 is equal to 5, and b plus 3 is equal to 8. Therefore, when solving, I can get my actual values of a and b, where this is a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 5. And for up there, you just need to make sure that you correspond, um, when you have imaginary numbers equal to each other, that the real and the imaginary both have to, will be equal to each other as well.